Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. So first of all, Happy New Year, happy 2017. This is pretty exciting. This is my first video that I'm filming in the new year. It feels like I'm starting off. Nice and fresh. I recently uploaded all my favorite beauty products from 2016, so I sort of wanted to stay on like the same trend of videos. And I wanted to talk about all of my favorite underrated products from 2016. So to me, an underrated product is basically a product that I feel like deserves a bit more love. I feel like there are products out there that just do not get spoken about enough that are so amazing and that really should get spoken about more. And hopefully in today's video, I will be shedding a light on some amazing products that you guys can check out for the new year. So that's basically it. Let's get right into it. So the first product that I'm going to showcase today is going to be the Sephora Collection Colorful Shadow and Liner. This is basically like a jumbo eyeshadow pencil. Now, I want to talk about this product as well as the brand Sephora Collection in general. I really feel like a lot of people overlook um, Sephora's house brand. There's this weird like aura about house brands that sort of make you feel like they're just not as good as you know other brands and i gotta admit i was definitely one of those people until i discovered the sephora collection liquid lipsticks because those liquid lipsticks are probably some of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks and since then i have tried so many different products from sephora collection and it really has opened up my eyes to the brand because so many of the products have become a lot of my like everyday staples not only that but the price point for sephora collection is actually really amazing it is quite affordable especially compared to a lot of the other brands that are in Sephora. So these jumbo eyeliners are fantastic. Firstly, I think that the formula is so amazing. Um, it is waterproof and they do not lie when they say that it is waterproof. It does not move when you actually apply it to your skin. As soon as it sets, you could like rub it and rub it and rub it. It will just not go anywhere, which makes it really ideal for like an eyeshadow base because it will really keep your eyeshadow in place. And this is also so versatile because not only could you use it as like an eyeshadow base, but you could use it on its own as well and sort of just like blend it out with a fluffy brush or even your finger you could apply it like you would a normal pencil eyeliner or you could even take like a more precise angle brush and use it to do more precise eyeliner work as well the colors in the collection are also gorgeous this one in particular is my all-time favorite it's called khaki and it's the most amazing like olive green with gold shimmer in it so that is why I really wanted to shed a spotlight on the Sephora jumbo eye pencils so now moving on to this bourgeois eyeshadow now I actually don't even use this as an eyeshadow I use it as a cheek highlighter instead I am constantly on the lookout for highlighters that are not too intense or too metallic but give a really beautiful glow from within type of look and this eyeshadow as a highlighter does just that applied as a highlighter it really does just make your skin glow without having any visible shimmer or sparkle it is like a cream to powder texture so when you touch it it's so buttery and so smooth and the shade itself is believe it or not really unlike any other highlighter that I have it's a vanilla highlight but it does have almost like a peachy pink tint to it which just makes it look really dimensional and really cool on the tops of cheekbones I will apply it on the tops of my cheekbones now because why not I am wearing highlighter but you know a little more highlighter doesn't hurt oh it's so pretty Oh my god, if only you guys can see this in person because I really feel like on camera it doesn't really do it justice. This is the type of highlighter that definitely gives you that glow, but it still isn't metallic, so it doesn't look totally unflattering. It's so gorgeous, guys. Mm -mm -mm. You have to check this out. So next I have this brow product from Tarte. This is the Amazonian Clay Volumizing Brow Powder in Medium Brown. And there's really two main reasons why I really like it. Firstly, I really feel like this brow powder just looks so natural in my brows because of the shade. This shade is probably one of the best shades that I've ever found for my brows because it is really nice and cool tone. My brows in particular are very cool tone, so it is quite difficult for me to find a shade that doesn't lean too warm or too red. Whereas this one is just so perfect perfect because it does have those really nice cool undertones so it just blends into my brows perfectly. I also love how long this powder lasts. Now I have used powder for a really long time to fill in my brows but I always find that I always go back to pencil because I do feel like powder just doesn't last as long. I do find that it fades throughout the day whereas this one it really does actually stay on my brow and I also love that it comes in this cute little compact with a mirror. It is quite sturdy so it's really nice to travel with and just throw in your bag. So next I have some liquid highlighter 
illuminators from SA Edit, and these are called the Flash Illuminators. I do feel like these are a little bit less intense compared to the Becca Liquid Highlighters, which makes them a little bit more versatile. You can use these in so many different ways. You can either mix them in with your foundation to just make your foundation really nice and glowy. And because they're not too intense, it won't make your whole entire face look like a grease ball. And I also love using them by themselves right on the tops of cheekbones. It gives such a gorgeous glow from within type of look because there really is no visible shimmer in these. It is really just like a pure glow with a little bit of pigment. So that's why I think these are fantastic. These two shades are my favorite. This one over here, Zero One Spotlight. This one is so great if you are very, very fair and you're looking for a highlighter that will actually work for your skin tone. Look no further. This one is fantastic because it is basically white. So even if you are extremely, extremely fair, this will show up on you. And this one over here is 02 Morning Light. And this has a little bit more of like a golden peachy undertone to it. And I do have like several more colors, but you just need to find one that basically suits your skin tone. But these two are definitely my personal favorites. So next let's talk about these Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Quads. Now, it's sort of strange because when these first released, I feel like there was a little bit of hype around them. A lot of people were talking about them, but then I feel like the hype sort of dissipated after the actual release, and I didn't really hear too many people talk about them. So I feel like they didn't get really the love that they deserve because I bought all of them actually. I was really excited about them because if you didn't know, I am just totally in love with the original Shade and Light palette. I use it almost every single day. It's like a staple on my vanity. The quality of the eyeshadows just are amazing. They almost blend themselves. They're so pigmented and creamy and just like, everything I would ever want an eyeshadow to be. So each palette basically has like a color theme. There's the plum palette, the smoky palette, and then the sage one, which has more like greeny tones. And then of course my personal favorite, the rust one, which has these gorgeous, like really warm tones in here. I really feel like the colors in each of the palettes were really so well thought out that you could truly create a full look using just these four colors. You do not need to reach in to other palettes in order to create the look. You have your transition shade, your deepener, your crease shade, and your highlight shade all right here and all the colors and all the palettes are all matte so I feel like that really does make the shades very versatile and I think they're just so great to travel with because they are so nice and small and I definitely think that these are totally worth checking out. So now I have a bunch of products here from Zueva that I wanted to sort of shed a little spotlight on. I have the eyeshadow palettes as well as the face palettes. So let's first start off with the face palettes. Generally I really feel like the makeup from Zueva is totally overlooked which I think is so unfair because they're just so gorgeous. The textures of all their powders, their eyeshadow as well as their face products are so amazing. They're so buttery and smooth and they glide on the skin. They're never patchy and the pigmentation is always exactly where you want it to be. It, they're basically just everything that you would want like a powder to be and that's why the, I think that they're so great. So I wanted to mention three of my favorite face products and of course two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I love the Zoeva blush palette. You get four powders in this tiny, teeny little palette. It's so slim and really sleek so it's really nice to try travel with and you get quite a lot of product in here and I really like that each palette is sort of within like a color theme so this one of course is the nude spectrum palette so all the blush shades in here are all in the nude family and the palette also has a really nice mix of both mattes and shimmers they're not all the same which is really nice this palette though is totally my ultimate favorite this is the coral spectrum palette and of course all the shades in here are all part of the coral family and and this one over here this shade is like my ultimate favorite it's, it's a coral with like some gold shimmer in it so it's basically like NARS Orgasm without the chunkiness. And they also have a contour palette, which is really great. And that actually has some really awesome contour shades in here. This shade right over here is like the most amazing contour shade. I don't even know why I have not featured this on my channel yet because I do use it quite often. So those are the face palettes and then you have the eyeshadow palettes. So these are two of my favorites. This is the Warm Spectrum palette. You have a really, really nice mix of both shimmers, metallics, and mattes. It's so well-rounded. It really has so many different shades that you need to create a look. You have some really awesome, more metallic shades in here that are beautiful on the lid. This orangey shade over here I know would be a lot of people's favorites. They have some basics in here like a matte black, a cream shade, a neutral brown, a highlighty shade, and then some beautiful like bronzes and purples and another like really warm, deep brown as well. Now, if you're more of a neutral girl, then the Nude Spectrum palette is definitely for you. These colors in here 
are so pretty specifically like the metallic shades are like out of this world and especially if you want to intensify them even more with mac fix plus they're even that much more amazing now next we have the ofar fix line eyeliner gel so these little things are actually really cool because they're very much unlike any other eyeliner that i've ever tried they're sort of a hybrid between a liquid eyeliner and a gel eyeliner they almost have more of like a moussey texture to them because they are a little bit more like fluid, it makes it so easy to apply and so easy to create a really precise wing with it because I'm able to manipulate it so easily. The one that I use the most is obviously the black one, but they also have some other really awesome colors like a yellow and a bright blue and some other really pretty ones. But if you're looking for just a really nice eyeliner, you feel like it's a little bit more difficult to work with a gel or a liquid, try this one out because you may be surprised because I really do feel like it makes making like winged eyeliner so much easier. So next I've got an underrated foundation here. This is is the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. Now, I have a drier skin type, so I don't really know how well this would perform if you have more of an oilier skin type, but what I really love about this foundation is just how natural it looks on the skin. I wear this more on an everyday basis because it gives me sort of like a light to medium coverage. It really just allows my skin to shine through, but also while still covering my redness, and it also gives my skin that extra boost of a glow, which I love, so it makes my skin that's looking really tired and dull, just a little bit more alive. I used it a ton in 2016 and I really feel like I even didn't even talk about it enough. Now this may be a little bit random, but I do have a nude eyeliner here that I think is probably one of the best nude eyeliners that I've ever tried, the Pixie Eye Bright Eyeliner. I love wearing nude eyeliners because I do feel like they really open up my eyes, but unfortunately a lot of them wipe away literally within like 10 minutes, whereas this one is the only one that I really find stays for quite a long time. And the shade of nude is also just perfect. There are some nude eyeliners that I find are almost too dark and really don't do the trick. This one does the trick. I think it's great. It's very creamy. It glides on smoothly. So next I have this jumbo eye pencil duo from Anastasia that I think is so, so great, especially if you're the type of person who likes to clean up their brows with concealer. This will make your life so much easier. So this pencil comes with two sides. One side is like a matte creamy shade, a little bit yellow base, and then the other side is more of like a shimmery shade. Now, Honestly, I don't really use the shimmery shade. I really only use the matte creamy shade. I was never really the type of person to actually take a concealer, take another brush, and then carve out my brows. I just found it was like an extra step that I didn't want to take. But with this little pencil, you can do it so quickly by just sort of outlining your brows quickly and then blending it out with your finger and it will make your brows pop and it will also clean up any product that sort of like went outside of the lines and it just works so perfectly. It's really nice and pigmented that it actually works almost like a concealer, and I think it is totally, totally worth checking out just for the convenience factor of it. Next, I have a loose powder from Cover FX. This is the Illuminating Setting Powder in the shade Light. So I actually was recommended this powder by Cover FX rep. She said that I would love it because I have dry skin, and honestly, I was a little bit skeptical because I've only ever found one powder that doesn't make my skin look overly dry, and as you guys know, that is the RCMA No Color Powder. But I would have to say, this powder comes right after that one. It's not my ultimate favorite powder. I will put that out there, but I still think it is really, really, really good. If you do have dry skin, this powder is fantastic because it does not dry it out. It does not make your skin look extra cakey, but yet it will still set your makeup in place and all that jazz. And I do find that this powder has like the slightest sheen to it. So it doesn't like totally mattify your skin. I just wanna say that I wouldn't really bake with this powder because I do feel like if you were to bake with it, it does get a little bit heavy. Now in 2016, cushion foundations definitely became very popular, but there weren't just cushion foundations that were released, there were also cushion blushes. This is a cushion blush from Lancome that I just love. This one in particular is in the shade number 23 and it's a really, really beautiful, like soft, corally pink shade. I actually like applying this with a damp beauty blender and I just push it into my my skin where I would normally apply my blush and it just creates such a beautiful flush without it looking like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. I do find that using like a cream or liquid blush just makes your skin look so nice and youthful because it does add a little bit of a glow to your skin as well that is very natural. And I think that these ones from Lancome are just beautiful. I have a few of the other shades and I really do love them all. And I just love using them on like no makeup makeup days. So next I've got some lip liners from Annabelle and these are the Big Show Gel Lip Liners. These are very similar to the Makeup Forever Lip Liners but of course they are way less expensive because it is a drugstore brand. They really do have like a gel-like texture. So when you apply them on your lips, they just glide. They do not tug at all. And they have such an amazing color payoff. So you don't have to like go over the line over and over again to actually get an opaque line. And they do last 
for a really, really long time. Really not much else to say about them, honestly. They're just really great lip liners. So that finishes off all of my favorite underrated products from 2016. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Of course, do not forget to let me know what your favorite underrated product was in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.